Hello, my name is Federica Saliola, and I'm a lead economist at the World Bank Group. Uh, I was the co-director of the 2019 World Development Report on the changing nature of work. So in summary, um, what the report um, asks are basically two questions that you know, I would like to briefly um, explain to you. One is, what is changing? And the second question is, what can government do? So the first question, what is changing? We see three fundamental changes beyond the robots, beyond you know, what we already heard uh, a lot um, you know, currently. So three changes. One, the digital technologies are changing the way we do business. Digital platforms change completely the way we run businesses because physical presence is no longer a prerequisite. You know, jobs are accessible from everywhere. You can be in Senegal and work for Upwork in the United States, you know, sitting in your house. But at the same time, they bring a lot of new challenges. Regulations don't apply anymore. They don't pay taxes. You know, we need to think how we can protect those people. Um, so this is one change. The second one is how the demand for skills is changing. Um, you know, we see high premium on those skills that computers and robots cannot perform. So those skills that complement technology, meaning um, higher the cognitive skills, social behavioral skills, those of these things are changing very fast. So what is really important is to be an adaptable worker. And the third change is how people work. My, more and more we see flexible way of working. Temporary kind of contracts, no longer the traditional nine to five jobs. So given these three changes, so the way we run businesses, the demand for skill and how people work, the question is then what government could do to make sure this change is inclusive. And the World Development Report comes up with three recommendations. Better investment in human capital, enhancing social protection, and third, create the fiscal space to make sure this additional investment in human capital and social protection are sustainable. In terms of human capital, we really want to see this concept of lifelong learning embraced by governments around the globe, where people keep learning even after secondary school so they can be those adaptable workers that we need. Second, social protection. We still have too many informal workers around the globe. They don't get any social protection. So decouple social protection in a way that becomes universal. This is not limited to people having a formal job. And finally, right, we need to make those additional investments sustainable. So how government can create the fiscal space needed to pay for those additional investments. Thank you very much.